Hi guys, I have another book for you today and the book I have for you today is called The Gingerbread Man Loose at the School by Lauren Murray illustrated by Mike Lowry. So this one's a really really fun one. It talks about a gingerbread man and he's going to the zoo only he's gonna have some riddles he has to follow in order to find the different animals at the zoo. And these riddles, they all rhyme. Those rhyming words are words that sound the same at the end. So while you're listening, see if you can maybe pick out some of them. And making a connection, you might have made a connection while even looking at the front cover of this book. If you have ever been to the zoo before, that would be a time to show that connection sign thinking, me too, I've been to the zoo too. Mrs. Hamilton would make a connection sign because I have been to the zoo. All right, so the gingerbread man loose at the zoo. I woke to the sound of a rumbling roar, a hooting and howling and growling galore. I ran to my window to see this strange creature. Imagine my shock when I saw my own teacher. My classmates all giggled and I joined in their game. We matched all her sounds to the animal's names. It's zippity zoo day, get ready to go. Let's load up the bus and find out what you know. We'll go on a scavenger hunt through the zoo. There are some animal riddles for you. I'll be a detective, I know that I can. I'll solve all these clues, I'm the gingerbread man. Have a wild day, said a man at the front as we pulled out our riddles and started to hunt. Riddle number one, I'm spotted, I'm gentle, I'm tall as a tree. A branch full of leaves is the best snack for me. I have a new baby and she is my calf. Aha, we all shouted. The answer is a giraffe. We followed the signs as we raced down the trail until we spied her long legs and her thin spotted tail. I jumped on the railing to get a good look and out popped her tongue in a curvy blue hook. She scooped me up high as her tongue curled around but nobody noticed below on the ground. My classmates were too busy reading clue number two. Oh no, I cried out. She's beginning to chew. I wiggled and jiggled as fast as I can. I'm not a green leaf. I'm a gingerbread man. I tickled her nose and she let out a sneeze. Achoo! Then I zoomed through the air to some tropical trees. A long loopy vine twisted around and around. So I whipped up my courage and swung to the ground. I glanced at my paper then knew what to do. By solving the riddles, I'll find my class too. Riddle number two. I scurry, I screech, and I swing from my tail. I'm hanging on the small primate trail. I love sweet bananas. I'm feisty and spunky. I know what I shouted. Must be a... What do you think? Monkey! I heard a loud rustle and turned in surprise to a small cheeky monkey with curious eyes. He picked up my buttons and tried for my hat. No way, silly rascal, I can't give you that. I'm not a banana, I said as I ran. I must find my class, I'm their gingerbread man. He stayed on my tail as I dodged through the grass, but I squeezed underneath the tall habitat glass. I followed the riddles and found the big cats, the elephants, bears, and the naked mole rats. I waved to the zebra, the rhino, the seal, who was slurping down fish for her afternoon meal. The crocodile opened his big toothy trap. He eyed me like I'd make a good ginger snap. Gulp, he says. The fox licked its chops so clever and sly. My classmates had warned, stay away from that guy. I've got to keep looking. I know that I can. I'm not giving up. I'm the gingerbread man. I read the last riddle. I've got it, I said. Then I spied the right sign on the trail up ahead. I raced down the path and my feet fairly flew. Then out from a shrub popped a small kangaroo. She started to whimper, hopped this way and that, then snuffled and shuffled and slumped as she sat. Are you lost, little Joey? I'll help you get back. I'm kind of lost too, but I'm on the right track. I'm following animal clues through the zoo, and I'm willing to bet that you know this one too. I love eating grasses. My ears are quite long. I use my strong legs as I'm hopping along. My mom has a pouch where I play peekaboo. I looked at my friend. See, this clue's about you. 
She opened her pocket and pointed inside. I tucked myself in and said, thanks for the ride. We'll follow the arrows that say kangaroo. They'll lead us to my classmates and your mama too. Together we'll find them. I know that we can, a small kangaroo and a gingerbread man. He hopped down the path to the grassy savanna and spied a large crowd near the outback cabana. I popped from her pocket and jumped to the ground. I s she sprang to her mom with a long leaping bound. My classmates all pointed and let out a cheer. We followed the riddles and found you all here. You're such a smart cookie, you help save the day. Our Joey got lost and you showed her the way. I'm so very proud of my super zoo crew. Now it's time to head back to our habitat too. Here's one more riddle to solve when we go. The answer is someone I think you might know. I'm smart and I'm tough, I'm a real sweet guy. I've got buttons, a hat, and a little bow tie. When problems arise, I cook up a plan. We've got it, they cried. It's our gingerbread man. I hope you liked that one. I like that one too, it's really fun. Bye guys, have a great day.